Dear M, I wasn't sure how I was going to start this, but hey, look, we made it. To the big day that we've both been looking forward to for as long as I can remember. The day where the next time I will see you will be as you walk down the aisle as my beautiful bride. Often lecturing her on why she shouldn't do certain things. Although I'm sure it was quite aggravating, Emma, I promise it was all out of love. As the years went by, I stepped down from being the third parent and can now say the three of us are truly best friends. We have had the privilege of witnessing Emma grow into the wonderful woman she is today and have come to know some of her best qualities, some of which we would like to share with all of you. I was close, sometimes. But uh, like any older brother does, most of the time he would win and never failed to let me hear about it. So like a younger brother does, I got really good at finding ways to annoy him and getting under his skin, which if you know him, can be pretty easy. I've realized I just enjoy spending whatever time that I can with you. I'm beyond lucky to have found you. I can't wait to see you in your white dress like a princess out of a Disney movie. I only hope that I will be your Prince Charming because you will always be my Cinderella, as corny as that is. So, my lover, as we step into this new chapter of our lives, I want you to know that I am eternally grateful for the love that we share. Today, I give you not only my heart, but also my commitment to building a life filled with love, laughter, and endless happiness. I am beyond honored to call you my partner and soon my spouse. With all the love in my heart, Brandon. How do you feel? <laughs> I, Brandon, take you, Emma, to be my wife. I, Brandon, take you, Emma, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Emma, take you, Brandon, to be my husband. I, Emma, take you, Brandon, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity, so that the afflicted and the needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have celebrated this wonderful sacrament, the Eucharist together with all of us. Now go forth and be together in love for the rest of your lives. And let us show that we all approve of what they've done here. It wasn't hard to realize Emma was a great girl when I first met her. She was funny, kind, intelligent, and quickly realized that they got along really well. And some time went by, and since I was at school, I wasn't sure uh, how it was gonna go. Um, but one day, Emma decided to play a prank on my brother uh, by sending him a message from a recruiter uh, that wanted, the, wanted to thank him and give him more details about his commitment uh, to his enlistment to the Army. And, and it worked. It worked pretty well. He was pretty mad about that. Uh, so in response, uh, my brother, using my phone, decided uh, to disguise himself as her manager. And <laughs> she changed her hourly shifts around at the hospital. And judging from the 20-minute conversation her, I heard afterwards, it worked like a charm. She was not happy about it. She was very upset. Uh, so for me, that was that early suspicion I had in the beginning started to fade and I thought to myself, this could be something great. And today, I couldn't be happier to say that I was right. I'm not trying to be dramatic. And was hurrying to back out of the garage to make it on time. Unfortunately, her judgment was a little off and she forgot that cars have outside mirrors. Emma proceeded to back out of the garage much too quickly tearing the mirror off her car, and also severely denting my parents' track to their garage door. But you better believe this girl is so committed to Jesus that she ended up going as planned, driving to church with her side mirror only hanging on by a few wires, and probably praying all mass that my parents wouldn't kill her. I'd like to conclude this speech in a very special way. Emma, if you could please place your hand on the table. Brandy, would you please place your hand on top of Emma's? Now look into each other's eyes. Everyone, I want you to remember this moment right here because this is the last time that Brandon will ever have the upper hand in the relationship. <laughs> Cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Boy. I can finally breathe when I'm with